Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. We've been making some, I think, fantastic progress these last couple of sessions, if I'm completely honest. I'm personally quite pleased with how things have been going, and I hope y'all are as well. And I just want to mention before we dive into the action, as always, folks, if you have been enjoying, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. I do look at the number of likes and comments together to get a quick understanding of what people are interested in watching more or less of on the channel, what I should keep doing, what I should stop. And I do read through all of the comments to, you know, further inform me with regards to your interests, your specific queries any suggestions, ideas, thoughts, opinions, whatever you might have. So don't hesitate ever to share any of that stuff down in the comments below. Now, with that said, like I said, I don't want to have, uh, or like I meant to say, I don't want to have a long, prolonged introduction. There is a lot to get done. Wow. What a view. Let's get to work, folks. So, um, one of the first things I want to do, actually, is... I think hit play. <laughs> I, I think let's just hit play. I want to do a quick overview of our um, circumstances. Again, th just over 32k. We're kind of stabilizing over there. It's been pointed out that I should maybe build some more housing to reduce the number of escapes. We might be. I think there's a point there. I think we're actually at our population limit, including 21 pluses. Um, and that might be a big part of what's stopping... Um, Oh dear, yeah, okay, this is definitely uh, becoming a, a situation. That might be what's stopping people from staying, like they might be forced to uh, to escape um, because there's no room even in living with, uh, with their parents and whatnot. So that's definitely something I need to consider and concern myself with uh, if we're going to try and stop the escapes. I think between that and the... Uh, you know, solution for food, we should be in a pretty good spot pretty soon. Hopefully the uh, loyalty to the government continues to be on the rise. We're very close to that 10% mark get again, finally. Uh, so that'll be good when that gets fixed up as well. I feel like that'll help with, um, I feel like that'll help with uh, uh, reducing escapes as well. So it's all looking promising. It's all looking, uh, you know, on the up, so to speak. Hopefully we're able to, uh, to take advantage of this momentum we've gained recently. Uh, apart from that... I wanted to take a look at our right, economy is looking pretty good, I think. Um, again, expensive month again. Last month we made a profit, though, about equal to this month's expenses. This year as a whole has been expensive, but I think that is because we have been doing a fair bit of... Uh, I believe we paid for a fair bit of stuff, if I'm not mistaken, in terms of construction and whatnot. Uh, at least that's what the um, the uh, trade window here suggests, is that we did do a fair bit of... Yeah. Yeah, yikes, okay. All good, though. All good, though. And, and seeing fuel over here reminds me of one last thing I want to tackle before we hit play, and that is over here at this forklift facility. I do, in fact, need to purchase, yes, fuel. Go ahead and get that going, and that way the forklifts will not run out. Good to see all this stuff in action. We're going to see this stuff up, in, up, up over here, you know, sort of kicking a gear as well, hopefully, this session. Go ahead and hit play. We're at 5.5 million-ish. Uh, not the most comfortable cushion, but it's enough for us to, to move forward um, without worrying too much. And I just actually want to mention something as well. It was a funny comment. Uh, and the only reason I want to mention is because, it, you know, if one person said it, it's possible many people are thinking it. Uh, but just to clarify, my terraforming, my paying for terraforming, um, largely I do that when I feel like, do people really want to uh, watch me slowly flatten terrain? Uh, a. Uh, and B, do I want to sit in silence and slowly flatten terrain to edit it out later? And if I feel like the answer to both of those is no, uh, then I'll just pay for it. <laughs> then I'll just pay for the terraforming because it was it was a pretty it was a pretty on point comment where I just dropped two million rubles on flattening terrain, uh, whereas that same money could have been used to buy a bunch of ships or you know uh, build this entire area up. But it's it's less a matter of uh, what that money gets us. Uh, in terms of production and whatnot, but more in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of time. <laughs> what is, what is all of our time worth, basically? Man, this is so cool to see in action. It's so cool to see all these trucks and stuff moving around, uh, and, and, and just finally bringing some of this, uh, you know, good stuff over. I do need to get power in. I thought we had power in the area. Why are you disconnected? We've got you down here. Ah, that's why you're disconnected. Go ahead and fund your construction. Yes rubles there we go 
That was a weird hiccup, but yeah, looks like we're good now. Power consumption isn't near max or anything. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, actually, on the mention of uh, rubles also, uh, some of y'all were pointing out that I really ought to get the NATO connections going soon, and I agree NATO would be neato to make some dollars and give us access to more stuff. Uh, it's just, they're also far away. I think what we'd probably do is try and connect to Bratislaw. Um, we're headed to Molna anyway. We could bring the tracks down, the same tracks down past Molna, down to Small Yazalka and uh, Bratislaw as well. Just to make some dollars, and because, because again, the dollars unlock a whole other set of, you know, things. Oh, this is actually going to be... We're going to have to build a tunnel over here, aren't we? Just looking at the uh, the terrain. Uh, but yeah, that, that's that's why I've, 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 we've thought about it since episode 100, right? It's been it's been brought up. Uh, it's just, it's also far away. There's a connection down over here, and then there's a connection all the way on that end. Um, and you can see we're kind of <laughs> far from both. Getting there, though. Getting there, though, on the south side, or whatever you want to call this. Uh, again, our our uh, our cardinal directions are uh, they follow no rules. All right, uh, one more thing before we really get into the the you know building and placing and planning and whatnot is I did want to adjust some of these names. I got some excellent name suggestions. I think I'll be able to fit them all in, uh, but if not, fear not. I'm sure we'll be putting down more farms where these names will come up again. So, uh, Duseni now is, uh, let's see, uh, uh, like, it's, uh, uh, the name aesthetic is gonna matter here as well. Um, so we've got Farminsky. Uh, let's go ahead and make this, hold on, what did I, no, that's not what I, rename, there we go, weird, it was like, Clicking something behind the tool. Oh, that, that was weird. That was weird. Uh, okay, so we've got um, Arminsky. We'll have... Hold on, I need to check something before I do that. What is our letter convention, like our spelling convention here? S-K-Y, okay. Just wanted to try and stay consistent in case I haven't been. Uh, Kropsky, right? And then over here, this... This will be Nova Kropsky. I like it because it's almost like they were like they're they're very related because uh, they were kind of built quote unquote back to back so to speak compared to Farminsky and and Kropsky that were built you know decades apart generations apart Kropsky and uh, and Nova Kropsky I think have only been like a decade or so. Uh, well, actually we can we can tell Kropsky was ninety two. Oh yeah, look at that. You see. <laughs> Kropsky, Kropsky, sorry, was 89, and Nova Kropsky was 92, whereas Farminsky was when... I love that the game keeps a track of this stuff. I think it's so cool. Uh, Farminsky was unknown. Wow, that's how old it is. <laughs> Just as I say, I love that the game keeps a track of this stuff. Uh, but anyway, point being... Ooh, what was, what was that? Oh, that's just these guys not being assigned. That's okay. We're waiting for um, this modified agro farm to be completed. Missing steel. I wonder if I should stop steel exports temporarily, uh, just so we can get some construction going. Steel, again, steel and mechanical components. Supporting our economy, but uh, preventing our construction. Oh, it's hard to tell, it's hard to tell. I think what we'll do is we'll reduce steel exports temporarily. Not that, uh, I mean, again, we only go through so many times with steel. Let's drop you down at 39%, and let's go ahead and force you through, maybe. Let's force you through, because all we need, we just need a little bit of steel. Go ahead and force you through. Hopefully some things can come through and pick up uh, pick up some steel. I imagine I imagine there are trucks already waiting to pick steel up, actually. To explain why that number is uh, barely moving. We've got a decent number of people here. The number should be moving faster. Hmm, weird. Anyway, it's uh, it's working, so we'll 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 let uh, time you know do its uh, do its work. Uh, so yeah, okay, we got Farminsky, Kropsky, Nova Kropsky, and then down over here we've got Ruralinsky, and we've got more Grainsky. There we go. I, I'm changing the spelling just to match uh, our a y uh, ending tradition that I believe we've maintained across the board. Yes, we have. Okay, cool. So yeah, uh, there is at least one name suggestion that unfortunately couldn't be implemented today. But we'll, we'll again, we'll have more fields added in no time, and we'll uh, we'll get those name suggestions in too. Uh, so yeah, Ruralinsky and Morgrinsky feeling pretty good. This is all going pretty well. This food factory will be done relatively soon. Steel isn't an issue down over here. Uh, where are we? 
steel is a non-concern down over here. We got 137 tons. Uh, we've got tons more. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no, we don't. We don't have tons more. It's because I've been a little too lax on this. Uh, let's go ahead and do our old trick there. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't work if we're not going to have um, workers coming through. Where is the other train that's blocking this off? Oh, there we go. These guys always ending up on the same side is struggle. Uh, I, like I could, part of me is like I should keep an eye on this more. What's happening is, and they're coming back up. They're flipping to this side. That train is trying to build this section. It's like, which section do we want to sacrifice for now? I guess what we could do is we could suspend the construction of these two for now. Uh, and that way we won't have that kerfuffle happening anymore. Because this is, I suppose, a bit more urgent to get this going. Um, and then we can do this section afterwards when uh, when this section is done, I suppose. We could do that. Save us a bit of a, save us a, bit of a headache at least. Sure, you know what? Let's go ahead and... Even though we've got construction going on here right now, it's okay. Let's suspend this. This is not urgent. This is not nearly uh, urgent because these pieces, they go up to here, which won't be up and running for a while yet because we have our uh, uh, all of our you know oil stuff needing to be built first. And we're making good progress down over here. I'd say we're making pretty great progress down over here, but uh, uh, but that just means that, yeah, there is still some time before, uh, before that top section becomes relevant. Whereas this bottom section, I mean, we have to finish this. Uh, sorry, we have to finish, yeah, this. We also have to get down over here and finish this entire section to make sure workers and all can get down over here. And this is a really big uh, element, isn't it? Uh, how's the other side going, actually? Have we seen any progress over here lately? Uh, it looks like it. I feel like the last time we checked, we were up over here. So it does look like this massive curved section has been built. Yeah, it looks like they are they are working both ends of the of the of the line, so that's good. And of course, you're stuck in over here. Bam, done. What do I need? Do we need a crossing over here? I guess I could put a crossing, and again, I could pay for it, right? Is that way they come through, and then ideally they look for the uh, the empty option. I guess that's just it. I don't have enough crossings for our construction uh, construction trains. So I think a crossing here wouldn't be a bad idea. And we'd make this whole thing one block, maybe? I don't know if I need to do that. I could try it, sure. Wooden, wooden uh, railway only. No need for, uh, no need for uh, electric connections over here. I can get you both down. Commission you just so that I have specific control because it makes me nervous otherwise. And again, it's yeah, it's not very expensive at all. So that will hopefully do the trick. Now, if I get chains down over here, they will check all the way down over here. And you're checking what? All the way down over here. For this to be clear, I think I'm okay with that. Let's see. That train is picking people up. Gonna flip around and leave. Yeah, off it goes. And once it crosses that, I wanna see if it frees up our construction train. It's gonna push through, no issue. Gotta empty this block out is all. Oh yeah, there we go. You've pushed through and hopefully you go through there. I wonder if I need to add another one just before the bridge, just so that this area opens up sooner. Feels like the logical thing to do. Yeah, you're coming through. Excellent. Oh, oops. I want to keep that open so I could uh, reference it still. And you'll come through. Are you going to cross over? No, your, your opportunity to cross is already done. So I guess you're staying on this side. And you're clear to go, though. Okay. I feel like that was the right call. And this lines up with this in terms of letting previous trains go through. Uh, the question becomes this section. Do I need these two? Because what's happening right now is, I guess it's fine. Let's let's leave it be for now, and if it starts causing issues, we'll look into it. But that that should save us uh, a fair bit of a uh, of a headache, hopefully. I mean, <laughs> we'll see. We'll find out. Uh, now the question is, what are the next big things I guess to accomplish here? We've got, uh, I and mean, hopefully this will help our food situation. Now, one thing we need to do actually, 
is build more housing. Like I said at the beginning of the session, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, uh, it'll, it'll help reduce the escapes because I feel like people are starting to reach the maximum capacity of living with their, their families. And look at that, our, we've dropped below the 32k mark, which is a little upsetting, I'll be honest. I was really hoping to at least maintain that bar, but it's okay, we'll, we'll bounce back up, we'll bounce back up, no big deal. Uh, unemployment over here is a bit of an issue, if I recall correctly. Yeah, not too much, uh, but a little bit, a little bit. 26 down over here, that's not ideal. Where are you guys going? I could unassign all this and then let them kind of go free and, and look for work wherever it's available. If I can push all the unemployment to this side over here, I'd be okay with that, because then I can get those guys coming down over here to work at uh, at the, the, the factory and whatnot. What I can do is I can add another row of housing back over here as well. Some folks will end up at the bus stop over here, some will end up at the bus stop over here, others will actually work at this core. I feel like that would be the best way to make use of um, of like this core that we've built. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and work on that a little bit. Might need to rework our um, power line over here. Let's see. Uh, alternatively, well, I would like to put the housing down over here, but we've got this right over here in the middle. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. If I could maybe get this out. Well, let's pull you out to here so far first. Pull you up this way. What I'd like to do... I guess we'll have to do a little bit of flattening. Again, we want to try and, uh, work with the natural curves of the terrain over here. Uh, to, a, to a realistic degree, obviously. There is still a bit of, even in like rural spaces, you do a bit of terraforming. But what I mean to say is I don't want to blow the side off of a, a mountain, for example, or, or do a massive, um, you know, <laughs> structural rework of, uh, of the terrain. Uh, this, this doesn't fly for me. I wonder if we'll even be able to fit over here. I don't think so. Uh, this, is, this is too tight. There's no uh, room over here, it seems. So fair enough. We'll have to go around this way, I suppose around the bend up and yeah, that works I split up from over here up and around and then you could also come around this way I wonder if we could get a connection down over here I think so part of what I'm hoping for go ahead and do pull you up oh, come on now and I make a nicer curve over here I like that I like the I wanted it to be kind of more um sharp and then what we can do is I, I wish you could do like a oh I, we might yes we are able to okay good wonderful spoke too soon put you up over here again kind of hug the, the the curve of the terrain over here and then loop back up and can we harden this a little bit yes we can beautiful go ahead and get rid of that Another step I think is necessary. Oh, come on now. Well, we can do this kind of a thing. Go down there, connect over here. Cool. And now, what I would like to do is get the housing. Again, we'll use the modded kind of brick housing because I feel like I want to stick with this uh, theme and aesthetic and whatnot. I really like how it um, separates uh, Brickstonia from everything else. You know, it's in the name, right? It's in the name. Where is residential? There it is. These are all of our brick options. These are the bigger brick buildings. The low-rise apartment complexes, if you will, rather than the uh, the smaller... I guess these are the mid-rises and these are the uh, smaller low-rises. Uh, now, here's the thing, though. Will these fit? Will these fit? Now, a lot of them just need footpath connections. Are these the same ones? Yeah, they are, right? These are all just footpath connections only? Yep. And I'm fine with that, as uh, emergency services are able to come through. And we could put you... Hmm, I wonder if... Like, I like the the raised bit over here. We'll put some more housing up over here as well, but I want to put some housing back here too. I just wonder if that raised platform is going to cause us too much trouble. Like, more trouble than it's worth What it is what I mean. Well, let's find out. One way to find out, right? Go ahead and put a couple of these down. Now, you fit... 60 workers, 128 workers. These are the really big ones. Do that over here, where we'll need more workers to be able to go up over there and even down over here, right? The higher density on this side is, I think, what we need for this bus stop. And then another bus stop down over here, probably. Uh, but let's go ahead and, yep, put you down over 
here, not making any promises to build just yet. And construction buildings, unless I'm horribly mistaken, or they've changed something with the latest update, construction buildings are able to, or construction vehicles, sorry, are able to use footpaths as well. Go ahead and get you up over here. Can we fit you here? No, only to fit like a, fit like a smaller one. No big deal. What about over here? I thought I saw. I could have oh, there it is. I could have sworn I saw yellow, and we did. Beautiful. Let's get a little bit closer. All I need. Rotate you a little bit here. Down over here. Might not be able to fit another one, but that's okay. There we go. There we go. Alright. And what about up over here? Yeah, we might need to get a smaller one up over here. Which is fine. There are many options. They all fit the bill. Ah. Can we go even smaller than that? I don't know. That's a little tight, because we've got the, uh, the the wires running through as well, right? Uh, no big deal, no big deal. I'm genuinely, like, un unperturbed, unbothered by that. It was, uh, it was a hopeful addition. Uh, let's get you like this, maybe? Sure. Like this. Let's try that. And what I want to do is, I want to see if we can't get... this happening. Connecting you over here. We might need to nudge this one up ever so slightly. Just want to make sure I wasn't demolishing the wrong thing. Um, go back to our modded construction. There we go. Beautiful. Rotate it a bit more just to match that shape a bit nicer. And done. Cool. So yeah, that's 120 and what? I forget how many workers can, can live over here. Like another 60 or something. So, that's a pretty good number, I would say. Decent spread. I feel like I would like to... Yeah, I, I know there's a lot of construction offices already assigned, but it's not like they are already um, putting resources down. Let's see. 60 workers. 96 workers. Yeah, okay. Let's stick with the 60 workers here. I just want to line it up a bit more nicely. Y'all know how much that uh, kills me otherwise. There we go. And then... What I was hoping to do, actually, what I was planning on doing was also getting the connection up this way. But we might not need to. <laughs> we might not need to. What if I were to get uh, you down over here? Nah, it's not going to fly. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Whoops. Get the uh, footpath continuing up this way. Here, there we go. And connect these two as well, sure. And we should be able to snake this through over here. Just to cancel this piece. And that way we have a nice little... Sort of inside section. Uh, I guess I gotta pull this out a little bit. Come on now. There we go. They come through. Let's go ahead and connect these, actually. These guys should have very easy access to all these uh, amenities and whatnot. In fact, let's check here. Hopefully. Yep. Both all of these buildings are able to reach the uh, the food. Are they all able to reach the cinema? No. Here we have some struggles. But again, when we upgrade the footpath to be you know proper footpath, uh, I think they'll be okay there. So this should be good. Again, this will use a lot of our bricks and stuff that we have plenty of, if I'm not mistaken. We're still... Swimming in bricks. Yeah, we've got lots of bricks. We have so many bricks. I need to use prefab panels as well. The only reason I'm not rushing the construction down over here was because I wanted to focus on the construction down over here. But honestly, at this point, I'm starting to feel like we really ought to get this started just to use up some of our resources. Uh, the other option, of course, is also to export all those resources. Oh, come on. Still causing issues, eh? Still causing issues. Um, like I'm not surprised, I guess. Shouldn't be surprised. Are you, are you, what's your issue? Hmm. I guess it's seeing all this as one section, that's its issue. But fair enough. Go ahead and pop. One, two. Come on now. Come on now, why can't I click there? Or here. Right, just gotta nudge it over a bit, I guess. One, two, and three. There you go. That did not clear things up. 
Let's go with... I guess I gotta put it over here. Ah, weird. Doesn't consider this top section free. Interesting. Let's put these down for now. Still nothing? Oh yeah, you're good now. Choosing not to go. Do that for now. Well, we'll keep an eye on this. I guess I should have gone with my original solution that I'd experimented with that I tested and worked rather than this uh, new solution that is untested and is so far uh, not working. Well, it'll work fine once the construction is done. And I've known this. I've known this. Are we back up on steel? Yeah, we're starting to get steel again. That's good. How is the uh, iron doing actually up at Ruralinsk or sorry, Rustinsky? No surprise here that it's in such low kind of supply. Still have to rely on our imports a little bit. We'll we'll get over that soon enough, I'm sure. We'll 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 get past that soon enough. Um, just got to get into a little bit of a rhythm down south. All right, missing resources, steel. Yeah, that's going to be our sticking point, isn't it? The medium distribution office is almost done. That's great. Uh, the livestock farm needs a lot of steel still. The food factory is done, so okay, that's also great. Our building is without power supply. Yeah, I need to get power up over here, don't I? I, I believe I have some free connections. Over here, I have one free connection, yes. So getting power over here is not going to be an issue. Um, we'll do that when the sun rises, just so I can see the connections more clearly. I mean, if, if I could just get... The forklift garage is done as well, so if I could just get some steel up over here. 92 tons of steel required. Oh my. 92 tons of steel. If we keep picking up mechanical... Or if we keep producing mechanical components, that's going to keep being a problem. To obtain unless we bring it from down south which I'm starting to feel like might be necessary actually what's the deal over here do we have uh, we do not have a surplus of steel no I could certainly don't have steel well we have a little bit of steel up over here I could get these guys assigned up there as well just to ship a bunch of steel over it's all they do really I mean, if I can get them to just do that and then move on. Let's see. Let's see if they bring the steel up there. Because there's plenty of steel down over here. We just have to ship it across the country, basically. Um, <laughs> you know, that's all. No big deal. No big deal. Now, over here, what are we looking at? Yeah, progress being made already. This will be good. These will fill up immediately, by the way. Like, there's so many people living with their, uh, living with their parents over here. Yeah, we're gonna need more. We're gonna actually need to take advantage of that ridge right away, basically. And I think I want to concentrate on this side over here so people have a quick uh, access to all, again, the core facilities. I wonder if I need to actually adjust my power line over here just to free up some more space. Because if we hug this house a bit more, we might free up some space up over here. But we'll consider that in a moment. I just want to quickly check on this situation over here. Crops are backed up, backed up, backed up. It's tough. I wonder if I should just start bringing workers up over here. No need to wait until, uh... Oh, we're done here. 21 tons of board needed. Are we really out of boards? No way. I mean, hey, we're pretty low on boards, actually. Missing wood. That's coming through. We're, we're actually surprisingly low on, uh, on boards. Only 20 tons over here. Remember when it was a massive surplus? is being picked up presumably for a construction that's okay um hmm I really hope that's not going to become a bit of a problem here maxed out on workers this is not maxed out on workers so I mean I guess we could get more workers coming over there do we have a problem with um the bus stops here oh lots of passengers waiting quite possibly getting in the way of our uh of our workers from being picked up over here. All right, well, where, where do these passengers want to go? What are you looking for? I could just tell. I mean, this could be our, our kind of express bus stop for uh, for all that work, so I could just tell passengers not to come here. Um, unless we have a crucial line. I mean, bringing people down over here is pointless. Anything they can get down here, they can get up over here. In fact, arguably, they can get better over here 
Where, where do you live? Over here. You came from all the way over here to over there. You've got sports. You've got food. You've got everything. What do you... Culture. You want culture. Do we not have a theater or anything over here? We've got the cinema. And the cinema is accessible. For... Oh. Yeah, yeah, you can reach the cinema. But why don't you just go there? <laughs> what? That's so weird. I guess maybe they want something else. I could... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and stop passengers from coming here. Again, they just have to cycle through, but that's gonna... I think that'll help. I think that's preventing the number of uh, workers showing up from showing up over here. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, so we're almost done over here. I mean, you know what? We could at least get the meat going, I suppose. Thirteen tons of steel, twenty-one tons of boards. Like, how long will that take to get here? Let's double speed it. Double speed it. Keep our eyes down over here as well, just to make sure things are going okay. Yeah, it looks like we're making some progress over here, which is good to see. This construction is ongoing as well. Almost all resources are, well, they're being brought over. Lots of boards, bricks, and stuff coming through. Oh, right, that's what's happened to the boards, of course. Just like with everything else, it's all being brought down over here. Yes, of course. Okay. Not the end of the world, then. Not the end of the world, then. We just have to assign where... There we go. Way too far south. We just have to assign... Oh, yeah, the huge construction office is assigned, so hopefully some wood is coming over sooner rather than later. Oh, we just got a lot of workers who will be sitting there doing nothing, looking pretty. Uh, yeah, good progress over here. All right, that's that's good to see. You are stuck back here, meanwhile. Because you're stuck over here, because you're trying to get through over here. That'll free everything up. Yeah, it's because I don't have a crossing early on enough. If I had a crossing over here or something, they don't use this crossing to get to the right side. They want to use this crossing to get to the correct side. That's what I mean by right side, by the way. So are we going to have another problem over here? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I wonder. Yeah, because we're one way on this side. But why didn't... Actually, we're two ways on this side. So why didn't that train cross over to the other side? See, that's, that's where I start to get, like... Confused, I guess. Like the, the the construction train could have easily crossed over here and gone to the left side of the track, so that our passenger train could come down this way and cross over and go down. Like that's that's just, I guess that's where that's where I lose um, track of things because logically it should work, unless I'm missing something. And it's like train conductor law not to ever ever do that. Don't make way for another train. All right. Double speed is going to at least help us complete some of this stuff quicker. We're good over here. We're getting stuff done over here at Brixtonia. I wonder if we do need to work on an expansion up over here at Vetsarinkograd as well, because it has been largely left behind. Uh, lots of adults living with their parents, especially up over here. We've got some room over here for expansion. Wouldn't be a bad idea either. It's close to a lot of facilities. Uh, we could go further up as well, which was part of the plan, but we can also go around over here, live by the bridge, live by the border, have access to all kinds of stuff very nearby alleviate some stress from all these guys working over here uh what's the unemployment like over here actually a little bit Got a little bit of unemployment that's the other thing is like finding jobs for everybody having a bit of a buffer for unemployment is okay and like that's what we're seeing for the rest of Vetsarinkograd actually you know what I'm being unfair to myself I feel like this is a reasonable amount of unemployment for such a large sector of our uh of our nation 45 unemployed over here, but these guys will soon have jobs up over here, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm being unfair to myself. Let's go ahead and maybe put down some more structures over here so that at least the uh, folks living with their parents are able to move out, especially up over here. Come down over here as well, right? It's pretty densely populated that way, and we continue to suffer, yeah, significantly, I would say. Loyalty looks like, yep, finally hit that 10% marker. That's good, that's good. Escapes at 337. Oh no, I want to look at this year. Oh my god, 3500 is that's no joke. That is no joke. All right, let's uh slow down and take just so we can put stuff down without the sun rising and setting over and over again. And let's go ahead and get a regular. I like I like these buildings. A little bit of variety, not too much bigger, I think. A little bit bigger. I don't mind that. 
It's not like these gargant- Oh, it is. Wow, it is like these buildings. Huh. I guess we've gradually raised the, um, the height bar, so to speak. Like, this is huge. Why does this feel? I guess because it's wider, it feels less tall. But I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I like how these look. The outskirts of the city. Which is weird. In most, like, cities, obviously, the center gets taller and taller. Uh, except for in some cases where, like, the center is protected by bylaws. And so the outsides get taller and taller. Like, you know, look at Paris, for example. Around the Eiffel Tower, you will only get that one hideous tall building. Uh, and that's because there's a bylaw that was actually made because of that hideous tall building. Uh, that prevents um, anything above, I think, seven stories being built within a certain radius of the Eiffel Tower. It's to prevent, it's to preserve its beauty and to prevent its, um, you know, it being like hidden and, and things like that. Uh, so it's kind of like that kind of thing going on. It's like, oh, no building above X number of stories can be built outside of the certain radius of our of our headquarters or something like that. That's what it feels like. Um, but I think it is time to increase our density a little bit around these parts. 180 workers. Now, would they be able to reach the train station? That's the real question. They should be able to. If that's 265 meters and this is 300 meters, right, we should be okay. Let's put down the red story flats because the channel colors. The red one's down over here and the yellow one on the other side. Oh, come on. Fine. We're not going to be perfectly lined up footpath, unfortunately. Down over here. Sure. Done. Use up some prefab panels as well. Let's get the yellow one over here. I'm okay with this not being a main intersection, I suppose. Am I? Yeah, I guess it wasn't ever really supposed to be. I'm put a main intersection up over here. Get rid of the footpath over there, maybe. Clean it up a little bit. Here. Pop you down. Or we could do this kind of a thing. Here, let's do that. I think I prefer that. Pop the yellow one down. Yeah, up over here. And that way, if we ever want to extend the road, we can. So this is always going to be a problem. We can always get past this. Put a more, another row of buildings down. Um, put some, you know, playgrounds and stuff down over here. Amenities, things like that. There's, there's options. These guys should be able to walk. Well, up until this is built. Should be able to walk over to the train station. Excellent. And get you done as well. We'll have to wait for that to get built. Let's get to work right away on the more important stuff. That'll help uh, a fair bit, I think. And then down over here, actually, I just realized... Yeah, these are getting done. Great. Because we put down the, the dirt. I just love seeing the cranes working on these, like, tiny little buildings. It's like, what are you even... A little too, little too high there, but uh, okay. Uh, Six million marks, so that's good. Money's feeling good. Where is our farm? There we go. How are we looking here? Missing board still. 21 tons still needed. Why are, why are, why is it not being brought up from, from down over here? You are assigned to the food factory, are you not? You are assigned, I thought, to the food factory. Yeah, Morgransky Food Factory. Hmm. Strange. Because I definitely, like, part of me wants to prioritize that. I wonder if I cancel all the other constructions this thing is involved in. Just to prioritize that a little bit. And just turn on auto search, right? Might want to do that. Oh, I gotta turn off auto search first, sorry. More Grinsky Food Factory. It's like almost done. Just need a little bit of uh, boards and stuff. Gotta get that stuff over. What's the deal over here? We're moving smoothly, it looks like. Steel is, yep, looking good. And again, it's part of our exports, right? This is looking good as well. Getting some good work done over here. Once this is done, I'll feel very good. We'll just pay for these, obviously, these tracks and these tracks and have these uh, construction trains take over the rest of the journey um, down to here. And we don't ever have to worry about this kerfuffle again, hopefully. It does look like there might be a jam somewhere, though. Yes, there is. Excellent. Wonderful. Glad we uh, spotted that. I almost prefer a jam up over here rather than a jam down uh, down by Uprising Grad. Okay, are you going to cross over? Because you should. You did. Okay, great. And now you should be able to stick on the outside. That's the kind of behavior I would expect. Yeah, beautiful. There we go. That's that's what I would expect from, from this setup. 
Um, <laughs> we'll see if uh, if it stays that way. But over here, I'm feeling, feeling pretty good about a lot of stuff. Like we, we've kind of reached a point right now where things are moving somewhat smoothly. We basically we're we're playing the waiting game, uh, in that we're waiting for uh, for some of the stuff to be built so we can start getting new bus routes and stuff planned out. I, I could pay for this construction, I suppose. And the construction vehicles would have to come from up over there, which is the only reason I'm hesitant on this. Building on fire. I've become so much more nervous about buildings being on fire. Fire truck was called. Oh no, injured citizens. That's not good. Ambulance is coming through, though, I imagine, as well. This is the same area where we had uh, issues. Like, this was the building that burnt down last time, I believe. Folks here are doing pretty okay outside of food, which is the problem that we're trying to solve right now. There we go. Good job done over here. Beautiful. Wonderfully done. Massive response team over there. Not going to complain about it. Over here, we are seeing some progress. See some bit of steel over here. Still need a lot of steel and mechanical components, too. Okay, no jams or anything. That's good. Go ahead and... Missing steel. Oh, right, because the steel train was picking stuff up. Gotcha. Gotcha. Maybe I should just zero my steel train exports temporarily. We've got the uh, steel export happening down at uh, Baraharad as well. As you can see, these trucks going through with uh, minimal amounts of steel, but honestly, that's all we need to make so much money. I wonder if I should uh, rely on that momentarily instead. Um, because otherwise we'll never get um, Nova Kropsky done. More Gransky looking good. We'll need 12 tons of boards. Has I gone down from 21? Now I can't remember. Jeez, my numbers are... My numbers are blending. It, it must have, it must have. We must have sent uh, something from... From down over here. Honestly, I'm going to just buy more... Uh, more trucks. You guys... Are any of you headed out? You are. With steel, and you're going out with boards. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So that should be all the boards, I suspect, if you can pick up all 12 tons that we need. Why? Why would you... Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, no, don't tell me you stopped. All right, cool. 12 tons moving out. And over here, you're going to load up on... Oh, you're on your way back, actually. All right, cool. Well, progress made. So now we can go back to setting you to auto search. Now you can work on everything again. Hopefully that will populate itself immediately. Come on now. You know you want to. You'll be able to see all these. Oh, it's not. Fine. That I checked. Might as well turn auto search off. There's just so much to click on down over here. Or you know what? Here's what we'll do. Uh, auto search. Crank it up to 3,000. Ah, oh, there's actually a... Fair, but that can't be reached. Road connection doesn't exist. Hang on a second. Does it really not? I guess not. Not a problem, because we have... Uh... It's not going to be a problem. We'll, we'll be able to connect it easily. It's just funny to think about... <laughs> Of all the things we've thought through, this isn't connected to a road. That's weird. You're down over here. We can like connect to this, connect to this, connect up to you know, this or this or whatever. There's that's that's not a not a concern. I wonder if I should start working on this though, just so um, just so materials can get at least delivered over here as well. There's enough to focus on right now. Like this is the big one. 269 tons of steel is no joke. At least all the mechanical components have arrived over here, but uh, this is, I think, the big one. Once that gets done... Got a road connection over here, though, right? There's, there's so many pieces over here. How does a road connection not exist? Oh, needed. Okay. I thought I read uh, resources already um, brought. Okay, so let's see. There's your road connection up here. The infrastructure's in the way. Got this connected down over here. I'm trying to figure out how to get... Uh, I'm 
probably the best way to do it would be like a connection out over here. This kind of a thing. Loop you in like so. Flatten things out a little bit. Can't believe I left this for so long. <laughs> it's strange to me. I felt like this would be one of the things that I like left at the time, but then would have uh, done it right away. But must have been must have been thinking something. Old party elite must have been thinking something. The sides are too steep. Flatten this out. We'll get there. We'll get there. Flatten a little bit more. All right, fine. Gotta do. So now this is connected to this. And again, I can make a huge loop over here, right? I can get this down over here to connect over here. We've already got passengers getting there easily, if I'm not mistaken. Pull this down this way if I wanted to. Other infrastructure's in the way. Come on, just got to get you out of this little tight space over here, I think. Go. Gonna have to adjust the pipes just so we can get underneath them basically no big deal there there we go and got to connect this up over here i think need to wait until the sun comes back up for that where is my infrastructure piping up top and get you back down cool mission you right away no need to wait Good stuff this we got this we make that connection hmm well this doesn't need footpath connection right this is just for storage this needs a footpath connection which does have right that's i guess that's what i'd done and i uh, the road connection slipped my mind is we just need workers down over here. We don't need workers down over here. Not until, uh, well, for construction, sure, but for that we have um, construction office buses coming through, right, with the deliveries uh, of people. Deliveries of people, that just sounds wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and get you up over here, like I was saying. Just going to get a tight, there we go. Up in the train a little bit, if need be, sure. Do a little bit further up, just to give a little bit of clearance for this connection. That ought to do the trick. Where is our large construction office? Go ahead and add you and you. Beautiful. Yeah, it's just a good idea. We'll just get stuff, at least get the resources delivered, because it's a lot of resources. Now, some of those resources will get in the way of other things that are being built, but that's not the end of the world, I would say. That is not the end of the world. Everything will move forward fine enough. At 21 tons of boards still needed. Are you telling me that this thing still hasn't arrived? Are you stuck, I assume? Yes, you are. No surprise there. No surprise there. All right, cool. Huh. That'll free up the uh, the boards. These guys are stuck over here as well. Yeah, there we go. That's why. That's okay. Good progress being made over here. Again, if we're... Yeah, we're, we're past this intersection on both sides, actually. So that's great. On both sides. So let, let's let this buddy over here come through and sure, put a little bit more progress down over here, but then we'll probably unassign that real construction office from this when this thing gets done. Uh, we need to organize, of course, the delivery of all sorts of resources, but thankfully all those resources will be coming from over here. So it's not like it's traveling, you know, halfway across the world for it or anything like that. Pretty easy access, I would say, actually. And, uh, and yeah, then we can stop worrying about this. I mean, I guess we'll still have to worry about it for this small section over here. Or, you know what, honestly, I might just pay for this little section over here. Like, how much could it possibly be, right? 40, 40k? It, it saves us so much heartache and headache. I feel like that's the way to go. Now, look at this buddy work. He's actually getting a lot of work done really fast over here. Mainly because we're at double speed, but still feels good. And, of course, you have to turn around. <laughs> As I was praising him. As I was praising him, we're almost good to go over here. Missing bricks. That uh, can't be because we lack them. Yeah, we got plenty of bricks. We're good. We're good. We're good. Up over here on the topic of bricks. Yeah, look at that. Immediately filled up. Now, a couple of workers without jobs. It's a temporary problem for now, obviously. 
uh, unable to get food. Yeah, I'm aware of that one. That's uh, also a uh, uh, <coughs> temporary problem. Yeah. Um, and over here, again, immediately filled up, right? No surprises there. No surprises there. Filtering out some of these 21 pluses. I might need to put some more buildings down over here as well. It's a serious, uh, serious problem. 96 workers. 128 workers. A little too tight here. Might need to go with a smaller building. Might need to go with a smaller building. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. That's the only spot we got. I guess that's the only spot we got. Fair enough. If I can find it again. There it is. Oh, come on. There we go. We get lower. Okay. Pop you down over here. What was... Oh, I see. That's the connection it wants to make. I don't actually mind that connection. Can we do it like that, though? Yes. Just trying to make that circle look a little bit nicer. Semi-circle, I guess. Pop you down over here. Yep. Can we get another one down over here? That would make my day. Nah, of course not. Of course not. Fair enough. Go ahead and just pay for you. No big deal. Get another one done over here. Yeah, that's good. Make a little park complex or trees or something over here just to integrate the space a bit more nicely, I would say. And then we can get some more housing up over there as well. Very cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, cool. Awesome. Over here, almost done. We're so close. You know what? I think it's time to get the um, get the buses and stuff sorted out, though. Let's just get the buses sorted out because we know we're going to need them. The IKR 280 over here is supposed to go from Brixtonia bus stop number two to Uprising Grad Technical University. Why are you Why are you not doing that, though? Why are you not doing that? Are you not needed? Seems to be the case. That's, there's no students up there. Our workers coming through over here at a better rate as well now that the passengers aren't clogging it up. Alright, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. Let's go ahead and get you going from um, this bus stop. We will load up on sorry, workers. And let's go ahead and drop them off over here. And from here, they'll filter out in all directions. Everywhere they need to go to work. There's very many places. And of course, the fire station will get its workers separately. Yeah, let's get you started. We'll upgrade the road later on. Fire station, I need to get a different bus, a micro bus for that. Oh, look, that's not a micro bus. It's like the, uh, the micro bus, except if it was elongated. Oh my god, where'd the microbus go? No more microbuses, or are they now a separate uh, category? No! <laughs> where are my babies? Uh, okay, fair enough. 63 passengers. Jeez. I don't think we'll need that many uh, fire trucks up over here. Go ahead and buy... Which one's better? This one? Buy a pair of you. I just need 16. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, two trips of seven, I suppose. Doesn't seem right. Oh man, that's uh, that's unfortunate. I guess we'll get this. It's so weird. I've gotten so used to our uh, our old uh, friends, basically. Uh, and same from down over here up to the fire station. Again, it can split off over here, right? Yeah. And that's because um, we're going to have a lot of like unemployment in the area if we don't kind of focus over here. Sorry. Load up there. Unload down there. Yes. Begin. Yeah. This, this bus stop's about to get a lot more crowded with workers and stuff, so I need to make sure that we are uh, shipping them properly. And looks like we are. Good stuff. Meat's being produced. Yes, it is. Missing livestock. All right. That's fine. Up over here get the right distribution of workers, I suppose. We're also getting workers arriving up over here for the construction site, I suppose. Might need to do two buses doing this round trip. Oh, right. The meat's being pushed right over here. I'm like, why is the meat not going up? Because it's being pushed right in over here right away. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're so close. So very close. I'd love to see this get done today. Still waiting on the 12 tons of boards? Dude. Can you imagine being in that traffic jam? 
There's the there's the vehicle in question. I believe in you, buddy. You can make it. So cool to see the traffic unleashed, though. I love seeing traffic move like this. It's still stuck back there. And chose the wrong lane. <laughs> chose the wrong lane. He doesn't even need to make a right turn, does he? Oh, is he going to make it? He made it. Beautiful. Happy for you, man. So happy for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. The FPS camera is just bad for the cars. It's not bad produce. It's just like my uh, motion sickness. And I think everyone's motion sickness. You got to go around. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. We're going from the uh, construct, the huge construction office up to the uh, construction site. So it's a uh, I forgot how far we were in and the journey that we had to make. But yeah. There we go, finally. Finally, these quiet rural roads are easier to, to travel through. And again, we will be upgrading this uh, road eventually, just to make sure that this slowdown doesn't happen. You can see just how massive the slowdown is. It's, it's absolutely insane. I love it, though. It gives everything purpose. Oh, man. Yeah, we got all the workers we need. It'll be done in no time at this point. And, uh, and then it's just a matter of, yeah, making sure we get enough workers coming up over here. But this feels pretty good. We need to make sure trucks are coming quickly enough as well to pick up all the food and stuff so we're not having a massive like backlog or anything of, uh, of resources. And the thing is, do I give that responsibility to the same distribution office? I guess it makes sense to. Um, we have, uh, you know what, I'd have to get some refrigerator um, trucks. Because the, um, or I, I guess what I could do is over here to this distribution office I could add... Uh, I could add these cargo stations and whatnot because they have the same end spots, right? There'll just be more spots to load from. Yeah, I think that makes sense, right? Because you drop off... Hang on a second, where's the distribution office that handles food and stuff? Or is it not a distribution office yet? Hang on a second. It's not. Okay, yeah, I have all these manually planned out. I think we should maybe get a distribution office then. Just to smooth this uh, process out a little bit. Oh, come on. Now that all the wood is here, all the workers have gone away, of course. Of course. And what's the situation up at Novokropsky? Or I guess this is still Train Rexky. Novokropsky is all the way out over there, I suppose. Oh, yeah. This is looking pretty good. Got basically all the steel we need. A little bit more steel. A little bit more mechanical components. That's not too bad. Not too bad. I guess the uh, mechanical components are being picked up right now. Push you through, you've got enough. Oh. Good stuff, good stuff. Because that way we'll get, uh... We'll get things made, I suspect. And we need to get more workers here. Or I'm just looking at it at the wrong time, yeah. We just are about to get an influx of workers, good. I was a little worried there for a minute, because this was going so smoothly for so long, and all of a sudden I'm seeing such low numbers up over here. It worries me. Still, actually, you know, not the not the biggest numbers. We were at one point working at peak efficiency over here. 500 workers, no problem. So maybe still something to look into. Might just have to do with the timings of the trains. Might just have to do with that. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that, I guess. Down over here, what are we looking at? You are almost done, and it'll alleviate so much stress when you are done. So much stress. Good to see. It'll be easy enough to organize the delivery of, of goods to that, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but yeah, this, done. Beautiful. Gotta add this connection. There we go. Unload crops for the livestock farm and the food factory. Ladies and gentlemen, we're up and running. We're up and running. Finally. Finally. Hi. It was a long time coming. A long time coming, but everything's up and running now. You know what they say, no pain, no grain. We went through the pains, and now we have the grains. And that grain will uh, turn to bread in more ways than one, hopefully. I mean, if, if this works as well as I hope it will, uh, we might actually end up with a nice surplus that we can, yeah, turn into uh, into all kinds of bread. Feed the people and uh, and the economy as well. Look at the little, look at the little forklifts go. Carrying the, uh, 
carrying the weight of the entire nation on their uh, on the little uh, prongs there. The weight of the nation for food, huh? Get it? The weight? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> but yes, uh, I guess we have fulfilled one of the many weights of the nation over here with the food uh, and the meat as well. Yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I would say we are feeling pretty comfortable about what's going to happen next session, which is we're going to set up the distribution of food at Uprising Grad and, you know, Brixtonia and all that. That's going to get set up. Uh, hopefully we're going to see an end to the uh, escapes, at least to a degree. I don't want to drop below 30k. That would be really bad. And at the same time, hopefully uh, Train Rexky will get finished up as well, and that'll solve the issues at Betarinkagrad and Sazalis. And we can continue developing uh, v -Rock. Folks, this is, though, where we're going to call it a session. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, like I say all the time. And as always, of course, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Das Vidanya. <laughs>